Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Merv POV with HLE. Uh, what Merv POV does is essentially turn a GoTV demo into a POV demo. Now the difference between a GoTV demo and a POV demo is the GoTV demo is the entire server recording. So you can go through and spectate uh, every player that's in the server and you can fly around and stuff. For a POV demo, it is only uh, the POV of one player. Um, some people like that, some people don't. Um, with a GoTV demo, you do have a bit more flexibility, but some people want a POV demo simply because you have the normal in-game HUD uh, in on the demo, and some people want that. So for those who are wondering how they record reshades with the HUD on and it makes it look like they're playing with reshade, um, they're just using Merv POV. So obviously to begin with, we need to download HLE. So head over to advancedeffects.org and just download the latest version of HLE. If you click the download link in the green box, you'll come up with uh, a couple links. I recommend using the setup.exe. You'll have less issues than the zip file. So once you've done that and installed it, just open up HLE, go to file, launch CSGO. For CSGO EXE file, just press browse and you need to go to your CSGO directory and select CSGO.exe. Uh, it will be in your Steam folder, so wherever you have the game installed. So I have it on my E drive in the programs, uh, then Steam uh, CSGO. Just select csgo.exe. Now for movie making config parent folder, you can enable this and enter the directory for your movie making config if you have one. For graphic resolution, you can enable this and enter a custom resolution. You can use whatever resolution you want. Um, this is the one I'm using. And uh, after that is done, just press launch and CSGO will launch. All right, so once you've launched in the CSGO, you should see this without any cheap message pop up. That means HLE is working. Just press OK. A shift and F2 on your keyboard to bring up the demo UI. Just click load and go ahead and load a demo. All right, so once you're in the demo, you go ahead and open up the console and type move underscore list entities is player equals one and press enter. You get a bunch of text in your console. What you need to do is now look for the ID. This is the number on the left for the player that you want or the POV of. So in this case, I want this guy. So he is 14 and just remember the ID that the person has and we can go ahead and disconnect from the game. Now what we need to do is type Merv underscore POV and then the ID of the player you want the POV of. So in this case, 14, and we can press that into the console. Go ahead and load the demo again. All right, and as you can see, we now have the POV of uh, the player that we selected. And as you can see, we have the normal HUDs from the game. Uh, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then you can go ahead and disconnect. If you want to set it back to default, just do merv underscore POV and set this to zero. That will bring it back to default. And then you can go and you know watch another demo. The player ID may differ depending on the demo. So even if it's the same player, the ID might not be the same. So you have to go through each demo and find the ID for the player. So yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.